Hey guys, Robert Field here with Yakfish TV, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm a kayak angler. That's what we're here for. <laughs> that is what I'm looking for. Ah. I'm about to go swimming. That's what we're out here for, ladies and gents. And I'm Jeremy Dents with Brood Outdoors, and we manufacture top quality made in USA coolers for outdoor enthusiasts. As a kayak angler, I'm always looking for ways to make my time in the water easier and more efficient. But at the same time, it's nice to have some of those luxuries like cold drinks and snacks and fresh bait when you're out on the water. The problem with taking a cooler out in your kayak instead of a traditional milk crate is that you lose a lot of that utility and storage. So today, we're going to show you how to rig out your Brood Outdoors cooler using Yak Gear and Railblazer products so that you can really have the best of both worlds. So the best part about all the Yak Gear and Railblazer products is that they come with all the hardware you need and the instructions are really easy to follow. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to focus on is extra storage. So we're going to mount the Yak Gear accessory pouch on the outside and that way we're not taking up room on the inside of the cooler. Once you've got the accessory pouch mounted on there, you can use it to hold all kinds of stuff, like pliers, sunscreen, snacks, whatever you need. Next we're going to rig an 8 inch accessory track on the side, that way we can put Railblazer star ports on there and literally swap out any of their products as we need them. Now that we have the track mounted on the cooler, we can use the Yak Gear track adapter to mount the Railblazer star port. And with the star ports on there, we can literally swap out any Railblazer product we want, whether it's a camera boom, rod holders, stow pod, or anything else that they make, we can swap them in as our needs change. Next up, for rod storage, we're going to rig up the Yak Gear Build-A-Crate double rod holder. Next we're going to install a star port directly on the lid, and there I can put a G-hole to hold my fillet knife, or even put the 360 light for when I'm paddling at night. And for the finishing touch, we're going to install a Yak Gear Lumina LED using the adhesive magnetic mount on the inside of the cooler lid. So this is just how I rig up my brew box to make my time on the water more productive. But there's a million different ways you can rig it to match your style of fishing. Till next time guys, I'm Robert Field and I use Brood Outdoors, Yak Gear, and Railblazer to make my time on the water more efficient. I'm glad to see that it, do it doesn't always come natural to you, that it takes a couple cuts and everything. Robert Field here. Wait, 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 what did we say we were going to say? <laughs> Robert Field here. American made professional gr it's okay, it's okay. utility and storage. Cooler on your kayak is a lot of times you use that. The problem with having a kayak on your <laughs> kayak on your cooler is you lose. I keep saying you. The problem with using a oh my god. We can use this yak gear track adapter. Track adapter. <laughs> I know, right? Let me just try it, all right? Yeah, yeah. Is it wrong? I think it's wrong. Yeah, all that was on film. So. Oh, great, great. <laughs> That was damn good. <laughs> Don't just flatter me now if I sound like an idiot. Gotta know.